here we have our first subtraction word problem. Now, when solving a word problem, there's two things you need to do. One is understand where the numbers are. We talked about that last week. And the second, and that's going to be important this week, is understanding what type of operation you're using. Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Now, obviously, we know this one's subtraction because I've written a big title at the top. But you won't always have a title telling you that. So you need to be able to, to work out what operation you need to use. So first of all, let's find the numbers. We know how to do that. Lotta buys 16. Oh, this pin doesn't work. <laughs> I'll get another one. So start that again. Lotta buys 16 stickers and uses five of them. How many stickers does she have left? So we've got no more numbers. So we've found all the numbers in our word problem. Now we need to think about how we know it's a subtraction problem. We're looking at the language now and see what words tell us that it's a subtraction problem. Now I can see one word in particular here, this word, uses. If you use something, then it's gone, isn't it? You, you don't have it anymore. And then at the end of our sentence, the question it's asking us, it says, how many stickers does she have left? Now you'll often find that's a phrase that's quite often used in subtraction word problems. How many do they have left? Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can know that this is a subtraction problem. Right, so now we know we're using subtraction, and you know how to do subtraction because we've worked on that in the last few weeks. We're going to use our deans, exactly. First thing we can do is write our number sentence. So how many stickers did Lottie have to begin with? She had 16. I'll try and write it nice and big so you can see. And then how many did she lose or use? So how many do we need to take away? Let's look for our other number, it's five. So we now know that our number sentence is 16 take away five. Right, now we can use our deans. So which number do we draw? Do we draw the five or do we draw the 16? What do you think? That's right, the 16. So I'm gonna draw my tens, so I've got one lot of 10. And I'm gonna draw my ones, I've got six lots of one. That's right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because it's subtraction, we don't need to draw this number, do we? Because that is what we're taking away. So now we can take away our five lots of one. One, two, three, four, five. So I've crossed out my five ones. And now the final step with subtraction is to count what's left. You can count with me. I've got 10, 11. Make sure you don't count the things you've crossed out. So now I know that 16 take away five equals 11. And when you're solving word problems, there's one little extra step we need to do, which is to write your answer in a sentence. So I'm going to say, Lotta has 11 stickers left. And because I'm writing words, I haven't written the number 11, I've written the spelling 11. Okay, so we found our numbers. We looked at the language, we wrote our number sentence, used our deans, and then wrote our answer out in a sentence.